What's happening everybody? I wanted to give you guys a quick update. This might be my last business update actually because I'm officially announcing, many of you guys know this has been coming, but I'm closing the rental business. I'm closing it, somebody else is taking over. So it's still gonna be there, you'll still be able to rent kayaks and next winter I'll be able to go back, visit and hang out and launch boats from there. Do uh, meet and greets from there maybe. Maybe even uh, guided tours. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just sitting out here on the Bass Raider with the pups. This boat and me have been through quite a lot. You guys have no doubt seen it in many, many videos. And I have come to the decision that when I go on my big trip, which let me make an official announcement about that too, I am definitely going to be taking the big boat, Contiki 3, on the long voyage around the Great Loop. The plan right now is to make our way north up the east coast uh, starting January thereabouts. I figure it's a clean break. You know, January 1st I let go of the business and I'll start on my next chapter. Hopefully you'll be there for that. Um, but yes, uh, along that way I'm going to need a dinghy. I'm going to need a way to get myself to and from shore if I uh, anchor up. And uh, the pups need a way to get around and this is a very great platform with some carpet on the ground. It just makes for a superior dinghy versus the Predator. I was kind of on the fence there because the Predator is more sporty. Um, you can definitely go a little faster and travel uh, rougher waters with that. Um, but I got to take the dogs into consideration. And um, what really cemented the idea of using a Bass Raider instead of the Predator was Pelican told me that they're going to be sending me a brand new Bass Raider. So again, I'm on the fence. I'm like, man, I really love this boat though. You know, it's like, you know, all the upgrades, you know, the, the reinforced transom and the scupper holes, you know, ugly as they are, they're very, very handy. I mean, this boat doesn't fill with water when it gets rained on, but that's okay. I'll make some improvements to the next boat as well. Maybe uh, even better than this one, who knows? But for uh, the immediate future, what that means is I need to get rid of some stuff because that's what next year is going to be all about. Next year is going to be about simplifying getting on the water more often, because I don't do this enough, but that is gonna change next year. I'm gonna be on the water plenty. And without the demanding mistress that the business is, I'll be able to spend more time alone or with the dogs, just fishing and enjoying life instead of being an adult all the time, which I think we were all uh, subjected to do and every once in a while, sometimes too much. We don't get out there and enjoy ourselves as much as we should. But on that uh, point of simplifying, this boat that I'm sitting on with the improved cushy seats and the Coleman 2.6 is going to get sold. I think I'm going to sell it for a very, very fair price. Right now I'm thinking about 800 bucks. I mean, this boat is uh, close to a thousand bucks MSRP now. This motor, which is still in the break-in phase, is about $650. And then of course it's got a title, so that part is very easy. I don't have a trailer, but the great thing about this boat is it's so small, you can just pick it up, put it in the bed of a truck, and get out to all these little skinny spots, you, a friend, or you and your uh, best friends here. So um, if you're close, this is, I'm not going to ship this boat. You have to come to my place, pick it up. You can buy this. You can buy the Predator with the 9.8 on it. And again, that's a sporty ride. And that boat is going to probably go for about the cost of the motor alone. It's as if I'm throwing the boat in for free. And um, I think there might be one or other two things that I have to sell. Of course, most of it's gonna stay and become part of the new rental business. Well, the new old rental business that is gonna go to my friend Todd. Meantime, I'm drifting back into the main uh, little channel here, so I gotta get it started. Throw an anchor, maybe throw a lure. <laughs> Look forward to more of that in the future, as well as uh, my new crazy kayak project, which I'm feverishly editing. There's a lot to see, a lot to edit. So it's gonna take a little while still. I'm hoping by the end of this month, I've got that thing fired up and ready. So uh, that's it. That's a quick business update for now. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Look forward to great things coming in the future. Get that right, pups? Heck yeah. <laughs>